Hello there everyone, Quinnicky D here, welcome back to another video. Today we are here talking about the new world of Strangerville. Obviously this is a brand new pack, but today we are focusing in on the world itself. The map, the details, the lots, all of the above, that is what we are focusing on. So before we actually analyze the map, we are going to analyze a couple of tweets about the world. So Simguru Houts said lots of people have been asking, so here you go. Strangerville is not a vacation world, which is what we were talking about last video, not a vacation world. You can live there and you can fully be immersed. So when we have our Let's Play, which will be coming out, obviously I will be doing a Let's Play, we can actually live there and we don't have to keep traveling back and forth. And there is a way to opt out of the strange stuff in case you want to live a more normal life, which is great because this world is so beautiful and we will look at some screenshots later, but... I was really wondering if I could like get this experience without the weird stuff and it seems like that is going to be a possibility and he also says that he recommends keeping the strange stuff because it's actually some really cool stuff. And then um, Simguru Kate said it is fully residential and she said that there is a special lot rather than a secret lot whatever. Um, so there are a couple of different lots we know that there is a bar a library residential lots and then this one secret lot that the sh that she mentioned so basically a lot of residential lots there are 11 lots too which is great that's basically the size of del Sol valley which is really cool one of the lots that we are getting is this lot this is an abandoned plane crash site i'm not sure how it's actually going to look in the game because this was one screenshot that we got but then we got another one which will pop up next um i'm excited for this because we're actually getting these things in build by mode like you can actually like place these plane parts and i love it because i am like so gonna do a future survivor season with like this kind of strange theme um but now just getting into the world in general i think it is so beautiful i think that they knocked it out of the park and that is why i was so intrigued to know if we can play without the strangeness because i think the world alone looks great it gives me complete western vibes i love the trees i love the openness of it and 11 lots is not a lot however it's pretty decent like willow creek i think has 20 something but we can't expect that anymore delso valley is like after playing get famous it's not too bad for me so this doesn't sound too bad as well um you know i could just replace a couple of the house lots with some other special lots and yeah i can't i can't really can't wait i love the the aesthetic the vibe the red rock it looks great um yeah i think it looks pretty cool and now to get into the map and icon this is the world icon imagine it being round but and moving because obviously it'll like you know the world icons are animated i like it i don't think there's anything wrong with it i am not opposed to it i like the little fruits i like the crater they really focus in on the strange aspects and i love how deserty it looks compared to like they are really making it different than oasis springs which i love and now the map so as you guys know i always have problems with the world maps and to be honest this is no different i think that it's just too far out like it is so zoomed out i love the rocks in the background and i love the border of the rocks the red rocks i just i love everything about it but i just don't I, I don't love everything about it like i like what they were going for but i don't i think it looks a little bit dark in my opinion i know they tried to put like a purple glow so it looks kind of eerie and strange but um I mean, yeah, it's hard to tell where the lots are. I'm sure they wanted to keep that secret, but it does look like, you know, you can tell right in like the, the middle of the bottom. You can see the center of town there. You have the special crater, which is probably where the whole, you know, plane crash site is. That's probably the special lot that they were talking about. But I also love the green valleys that they have behind those sets of rocks. I can definitely see like that being the part where all the houses are and where your Sims can live. And then the part like in like the deserty area is where like the townspeople would be so it's not bad it is not bad i can stare at it however i probably won't be needing to because i will definitely download the fan made map um once that is created by noir sims or felipe sims or whoever makes those on twitter they are amazing i highly recommend downloading the fan made maps but yeah just as an overview we are getting a an 11 lot world fully residential you can live here this is you don't have to keep traveling back and forth I think that this is a great deal. I think we were all aching for a brand new world, especially after the really, I mean, not so disappointing, but like 
you know, not getting one in seasons and then the disappointing Del Sol Valley, like how small it was. I think that this makes up for it. With a game pack, I don't think we could have asked for anything more. I love it. I love that you can opt out of being strange. I love how it could be a normal world, but also have a story at the same time. I think it is genius. But for now, that is it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the world map. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like this big up and I will see you guys all again next time. Goodbye.